Hi friends, it's Larissa. Welcome back or welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create a fillable PDF form, which is perfect for pre-qualifying your buyer and seller leads. Now this is really simple to create as all you will need are two free platforms. So if you're ready, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe because you know I got the vibes. Let go. All right, first things first, we need to create the PDF document. And of course, as you would know, I love Canva and I think it's one of the best places to create a custom PDF document. Now you can use the free version of Canva Pro, but as you know, with Canva Pro, you become a professional and I show you how. Now you can create this form completely from scratch or you can look up checklist in the templates here. Now I did do a search on if there were real estate checklists and there were literally none. So what you can do is just use one of these templates and then just customize it to your real estate questions. Now in this case for myself, because there were no real estate templates, I went ahead and created my own. So I just used an A4 document here, just from scratch. If you just open that up, this is like the legal paper size, right? And then you would just create from scratch like that. Now in this case, I have already created my form. So this is a two page buyer questionnaire. You can make it one page, two page, three page, whatever have you. But if you would like this questionnaire, this specific buyer questionnaire template, drop a comment down below and I'll give it to you for free. So in this case, I again completed, com created this completely from scratch. So it is kind of tedious. So I had to create a different text box for each question, create a line, as you can see, and uh, put in the checks boxes individually. Now, it is kind of tedious in the beginning, but trust me, when you make this, you only have to make it once and it's going to save you so much time when you're actually in the day-to-day -day trenches of working with your clients. Now, at this point, what we can do is just download this as a PDF. Now, if we go to the share button, you'll see the download. And there's actually two options here that Canva provides. You'll see the PDF standard and PDF print. Now, because we're just going to be emailing this out to our clients, PDF is just sufficient. We don't need anything more than that, really. So in this case, I'm just going to download the first page of this template. Now, the next step we have to do is go to docfly.com. D-O-C-F-L-Y.com. Now this allows you to, to, again, it's free. It allows you to create three free PDF fillable documents a month. So if you want to upgrade, do as you please. But essentially what we can do now is just drag in our PDF that we exported from Canva. And it's gonna bring us into this backend system. So essentially what happens is that, as you can see here, your files, we automatically delete it after 24 hours. So Docfly hosts your document for 24 hours and then it's gone. I'm, I'm assuming that's with the free version of this, but if you upgrade to premium, it probably will hold your uh, documents in here. So in this case, we, let's see, I've just put this one in. So we wanna click on that. Now we are in the editing tab up here, but we want to go into the form creator because this is gonna allow us to create the fillable fields. Now this is very similar as to what you would see in a digital DocuSign uh, platform. So DigiSign, DocuSign, AuthentiSign. It's kind of the same idea where you are creating the fillable fields for the signatures per se, and then you just would email that to your clients. But in this case, we're creating one fillable document, the master document, and then being able to email copies out to our clients. Now, in this case, we have different options depending on what you have in your questionnaire or your checklist. So we have, in this case, we have a date option. So you can put a date field in here and all you have to do is just click on this and then you can go ahead and size it accordingly to how big you want it to be. And you kind of have to use this arrow here to move it up and around. So again, we have the option to change the font, change the size. So in this case, for this document here, I used about a size 10 font, and I recommend that you use a different color font for the fillable fields so that it is easier for you to recognize when your clients have put in their information and it also makes it easier for your admin team or your VA or whatever have you. And then you can also choose um, the alignment as well. So it could be on the side um, in the center or whatever have you. Now in this case, for all of these the buyer names, the phone, the email. I just like to use just the simple text field because this is just a one liner. So again, just click and then just size accordingly. Make sure you change your font size, change the color. And I'll just have my alignment right here. And then what's interesting about this is that it will, rec it will 
automatically um, duplicate your settings that you previously had. So it will remember the font, the color, and the size. And all you have to do is to just extend it here if it needs to be a little bit longer. Now again, you do the same thing. Click here, extend it. And you can also test it out yourself. You could see what that looks like, see that it is properly aligned, but I'm just going to delete that out. Now, let me just zoom in a little bit more for you so you can see that. Now you do, now you can recognize that because we have these uh, grayed out boxes that these are all fillable fields. Now in this case, for the check boxes, we would do the same thing. We would just click here, then you would size accordingly to the size of your checkbox that you made with Canva. And then again, we can change the color of that checkbox as well. And then you can play around with it to see how you like it. And again, we can adjust use the text box and then it remembers the size of that text box. So in this case, you would have to, every time you want to make a fillable field, you have to go up to the top menu up here and uh, put in whatever that field is. Now in this case, what is also interesting about Docfly is that you also have a drop down field. So in this case, let's say you didn't want to put a text box here, but it was, you had different options. So this question here is how many people will be residing in that home. So you could use a drop down field and all you have to do is just click here. Again, adjust the size accordingly to that line there. And then we would go ahead and change the font so it is cohesive and then on the right hand side here we see the drop down field so over here so this is where you would be putting in all of your different choices so let's say one person in the house two person four five and you get the idea now we can also test it out here if we click down that drop yeah we saw that we clicked we clicked on that there and again that opens up that field so you can test it out as well. Now, the last thing that I want to show you is this, this paragraph here. So this is not just a one liner. I want like multiple lines so my clients can fill that out if they need to. So we would go up to the top here. We would look for the paragraph field again, click on here, adjust accordingly, and then change the font size and the color. Now at this point, after you have gone through all of this and have created all your fillable fields, so again, they will be that grayed out blue color so you know that it is a fillable field. All you have to do now is just go up to the green save button and this is gonna allow you to export this document with the fillable field. So you just go click the export and you would just download this or you could even export this to Google Drive. Now I'm gonna open up my other one that I did previously so you can see all the fillable fields. All right, so here is my completed document fully filled out. Now it looks like a regular document. Um, so there you won't see the gray fields like that only if you hover over them. So let me just kind of zoom in for you guys so you can see this properly. So again, it just looks like a regular PDF document when you but once you hover over the different tabs here, you can see that they are fillable. So you can go ahead and type in here. So mine was kind of funky. I put my text box up too high. So it doesn't the text doesn't actually sit on the line. So I recommend that you uh, play around with that. And in this case, I didn't change the color of my text, my check marks or really my text. I try to make it the green color that matches here, but it's kind of hard to see the difference of the the green tone and the black. And in this case, um, I would just go through and check all of this. So I would just send this out to your assistant or a, one of your, you know, a spouse or a friend to just go through this so they can actually fill this out themselves and let you know if there are any uh, typos or mistakes or any of the fields are not working. And again, here's this drop down menu. I don't know why it's super small here on, on my system. So I use Apple, I use Mac. So this is just the, the, the native preview tab that opens up PDFs in the Apple devices. So again, you can change this out, play around here, click that and yeah, start typing here and just do hit enter, hit enter and you can make it a multiple paragraph kind of thing here. And just like that, you've streamlined your entire follow-up process to qualify both your seller and your buyer leads to make sure you have documented all of the most pertinent information about your client and the transaction to make sure that both you and your client are on the same page and make you that real estate agent. But if you are in need of more leads, then check out this video right over here where I show you how to create a buyer's funnel using Canva website. So if you're ready, three, two, one.